All right, guys, so today I'm just going to do a quick overview and walk around of my 2018 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. So I've been building this truck over the past year for overlanding. I do a lot of off-roading, camping, hiking, that kind of stuff. So this truck has been really, really good for that. Um, being a Pro 4X, this does have four-wheel drive and a rear locking diff. For suspension, I'm running a two inch suspension lift. It's an Adelief in the rear and then coils in the front. And then I'm also running a two inch body lift. Now, normally I don't really like body lifts, but in the case of the Frontier, if you wanna get a bigger tire, which is what I'm about to do, I'm about to put on some 33s, you really need that extra clearance. Um, it's really hard to fit bigger tires without a body lift and some cutting and melting of the fender liners. Up front here, we've got some ditch lights. Um, these are mounted on some Rago fabrication ditch light brackets. Um, they're good, they work, but they are, uh, they're kind of hard to install. So if I was gonna do it again, I probably would go with a different brand. Got some rain visors here. So I can leave the windows cracked. And then in the back here, we've got a little DIY roof rack. Get up here. So this is Super Strut. Um, you can get it at pretty much any hardware store. It's pretty strong stuff. Uh, and it works really well. So I coated it with some bed liner and then just mounted it to the two lay rails that came with this uh, camper shell. Then over there, I've got a shovel, traction boards, and a high lift jack mounted on here. And of course, my awning. It is sturdy enough to stand on, so it's really nice. Moving to the back. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. We have my kitchen. So a little Coleman two burner stove, cooler here, no fridge. And then in the back of the drawers here, we have some cooking supplies. I might go do another video just on these drawers and what I kind of keep in here, but it's basically my setup. Usually in the back there, there's a uh, seven gallon water container and a little five pound uh, propane bottle. And then um, I've got lines that run from each little electric pump for the water so I can get water up here and then also get propane to the stove. Moving around to the sleeping area. This is an ARB awning room. Really, really nice to have. It's got this back door here that opens up. If you have an SUV, you can actually use this to access like the back door. So if you're someone who sleeps in your SUV, this is really nice because you can basically just make this a big extension of your sleeping area, which is pretty cool. For me, I have sliding rear windows here, so I usually just leave like my little snack drink cooler right inside there, and then we can just reach in and grab snacks and drinks out of there while we're in the tent. Um, so we don't actually have to walk out and go around, especially if it's bad weather. I have slept in this in the rain, some pretty heavy thunderstorms, and it did really well. Um, it's pretty sturdy. The roof does tend to collect water just because there's not a lot of angle to it. Um, so light rain, you're fine. If it's really heavy rain, probably need to wake up at some point and push that water off so it doesn't get too bad. But overall, really nice setup. You can sleep two adults really comfortably. Um, usually I use this for myself, one other person, and then my dogs, so I have two big dogs. Um, you can sleep widthwise. The tent is six feet wide. If you sleep widthwise, um, you could probably get three or four adults in here pretty easily. Two adults and two kids would be totally fine. Move to the inside of the truck now. So not a ton going on in here, in the front at least. Um, I do have a GMRS radio down here, a 
little handset and then a phone holder on this custom ram mount bar so i had this made by a guy out in uh, alabama made specifically to fit in the little cubby on top here works really well that's just a little antenna for the gmrs doesn't get great reception i need to get a better antenna but it's good enough to pick up kind of like the emergency weather channels and stuff which is mainly what i use it for anyways got some switches up there and of course a big morale patch collection little net divider for the dogs we'll move around over to the other side so in the back seat here we have no seats so back here i've just got this big platform really nice for the dogs gives them a ton of space to kind of lay out especially on longer trips um, they don't have to be trying to stand in a seat and then they fall down between the front and back seat and if you have dogs you know what i'm talking about it's a pain also gives me a bunch of storage space underneath so on the side uh, i have the factory subwoofer it takes up a lot of space but i've got a uh, hacksaw not a hacksaw a uh, coping saw there or a bow saw and then i've also got an axe um, rain jacket some more camping gear hidden under there stuff that i don't use as much but I like to keep in the truck. One of the things I really like about this rig is if I wanna go out on the weekend, I just come home Friday after work and I load up. Um, I've got a couple bins, so we've got that trunk in there, which I keep all my gear in. And so I just throw that in the back, throw some food in here, grab some ice for the cooler and I'm good to go. This kind of seems like a lot. I know a lot of people are probably worried about this being, um, you know, taking too long to set up, but I can actually set up this whole thing in about 12 minutes by myself. So it's not too bad. I think that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.